Atlanta students and families, I'm Mrs. Smith. And I'm Mrs. Wallach. We're here to tell you about a new way that Atlantis is going to learn about each of our character pillars. Every month, we're going to be focusing on one pillar. In October, we're going to start with learning about respect. Tune in each week to listen to a book and talk about how it relates to respect. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pettis, and this month we're going to be learning about respect. And the story that we're going to be reading is called The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookly wasn't like his friends. Where they had curves, he had ends. Spookly was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookly the pumpkin wasn't round. He was square. While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spookly sat there shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all of his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll everywhere. That is, until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be a square. Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay. It tossed the round pumpkins to and fro. It snapped their vines, then off they'd go. Bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing, what a sight. Spookly sat there filled with fright, but glad to be a square that night. Suddenly, the fence gave way. Three pumpkins rolled out and into the bay. Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He teetered. He tottered. He tipped. He tried. He finally flipped. He was on his side. Again, he tipped. And then he flopped. Again he flipped. And then he stopped. Right in the gap where the fence had snapped. He blocked the way. The hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, Hooray! Spookly the square pumpkin had saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump, and another one with a smack. Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack, with a bang, and a bash, and a crunch, and a crash, and then it all went black. At dawn, when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pip pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last one was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day. An odd-shaped pumpkin, short and dense, was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised, its stem was too. But there was brave little Spookly, sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew, of all the seeds he'd ever sown, Spookly's were the most special that had ever grown. And the next year, when it was time to sow, he sowed those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow, and oh, that morning about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. But some were cubes and some rectangular, some were flat and others triangular. 
There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes. Now every year on Halloween, Spookly's Patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grow that year. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday you'll tell someone too. And they'll go tell someone, he'll go tell another. And maybe one day we will all discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover.